Have you ever wondered if you can add the spark line to a KPI card on one of the sides, left or right? I did, and for the past week I've been searching for a solution to do just that. Well, last week whilst I was searching for inspiration on dribble.com, I stumbled upon this. And I was thinking, how can I do this in Power BI with using just one visual? So for the past week I have tried various options and I believe I came up with the easiest of the solutions. So without any further ado, let's jump to Power BI. Now this is the KPI card that we created in my last video. We will use the same measure so I won't be going through them again. Let's see if we can turn this visual into something that looks like this. First, I'll delete this visual and I'll start with one that you would not think about and that would be the table. So let's put the table in the center and start building up. First thing, of course, we need to add our measure. In this case will be the subtitle and this will be our KPI. Now, one of the features of the table is that you can add a spark line. So head over to the build panel, right click on subtitle and click on add spark line. Now we need to change the y-axis from the subtitle measure to the total sales measure. And for the x-axis we will select the month from the day, day table. Press create and we have our spark line right next to our KPI. But as you see it doesn't look like we need to. And of course we will have to do some formatting. Along the way I've discovered a couple of problems but I'll show you exactly how easy it is to overcome them. So the first one of course we can see that uh, we have a white background and that's a very easy one to resolve. Head to the size and style and remove the background. But hold on, we still have the white background for all the rows and the headers. So what can we do? Well, if you head over to the style presets Instead of default, select none. So far so good. Let's make it look a bit more like a KPI card. First, we will add the title and we will use exactly the same measure that we used last time. And then for the color, we will use again the same measure that we used last time that returns green color when the year over year is positive and red color when the year over year growth is negative. Put it to, let's put it to the test and it works just fine. Now the next thing that we want to do is enlarge the 3.83 millions. Head over to the values and we'll change the 10 to a 28 and from Sigui UI we will use Sigui UI bold. Now let's play a bit with the columns. We'll change the width so that all the visuals will fit in. What's the next thing that we could do? Well, we can change the color of the KPI. So we'll change it to something that I really like to use, F6, F6, F6. Now, here comes the first problem that we have. If you look over here, the headers are still visible. If we go to the column headers and try to change the color, we can only select the specific color. And as much as we can try, we can't really match the background because the background has a gradient in it. So what can we do? Well, the solution is rather simple and it involves the Unicard codes. If you go on Wikipedia and search for white space character, you will find this page. On this page, under related Unicode characters with property white space, you will find this Mongolian vowel separator. All you need to do is copy it and then head over to Power BI select your visual and rename the columns using the space that we've just copied. So select all, control V, press enter. As you can see, the column header for the subtitle disappear. Let's repeat it for the total sales. Right click, rename this visual, select all, control V, press enter, perfect. Now the next problem that we have is this line separating the column headers from the rest of the visual. So what can we do about it? If we head over to formatting and we go to grid, horizontal grid is off, so it must be something else. One solution that I came about was in the border, select bottom and then deselect bottom and somehow it removes all the grid lines. Now you might say it looks good, but being a table means that you can sort various columns. So let's click on one of them 
and oh, we have an arrow that will keep showing and it's a different color. Now this is the thing I've tried the most to overcome, but you won't believe how easy it is. So select the visual and instead of a table, let's turn it to a matrix and it's gone. Now obviously we still need to play a bit with the width of the columns, make it look good, change the size of the visual, change the positioning, you can even go and say OK, for the title I would like it to be centered to the right, head over to title, center it to the right, work a bit with the column width again until everything fits perfectly. And of course, from here you can go to something like this, or you can choose a different background, or even something dark. But this visual wouldn't have been possible without the measures that are affecting it. And if you want to know which measures I used, this video right here is the video where I go in depth and show you exactly how I created each measure. And I'm pretty certain you'll love it. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This is Stellion, signing off. Until next time, cheerio!